What up, guys? This is Casey is Raw again, and this is part 25 of consoles, games, and stories from my life. And today is about the Mattel Atronic Intellivision. And you can see why they call it. It's called Intelli no, Intelligent Television. A work on words. But, um. This was came out during the same era with Atari 2600 and as well as the ColecoVision. And uh, this is actually superior out of all of them. This is actually a, the first system to actually have 16 bit in power in the system. And you're like, what? Well, the thing is. It didn't actually play 16-bit games. It had the capability of playing 16-bits. But, um... I got this, like I said in the ColecoVision. I got this same system from the same vendor that I got from the ColecoVision. And, um... System's weird as hell, actually. If you, I mean, they're... Like, during the Sega Genesis, they had the Sega Channel, where you can download games from, uh, a, from a coaxial. Well, for the television, you have the cartridge slot right here, and you can download games. I guess you had to call up the service, download games through the phone wire into here, and you can play it games online. And look at the crazy look at the controller. Uh, even the cord uh, kind of almost looks like a damn phone. And uh, this is your directional pad. It's a disc. And it's actually like a button. So um, the buttons are also on the side. It's a weird looking system. But um, this is one of the first systems with uh, Atari as well that had different revised vision uh, of system. Like how they had the Intellivision. This is the first version. And then they had the Intellivision 2. And then there was the Intel 3. And that was not no longer made from uh, Mattel like, Electronics. It was, uh, I think it was made by Tan uh, the people who, who made Tandy. You know, the people who uh, sends products to uh, Radio Shack. So, I know Drew would love to hear about this system. So, I figured to get this one out of the way. And, you know, this system's kind of weird. Uh, it was crazy. It had 16-bit power went during that time frame. So let's go look at the games and the box games. Like I said during the special announcement in Coleco Vision, um, a lot of these games I haven't played in years, and uh, I can only reference what I really know. And some of these games I recently picked up, especially like this pile right here that I recently picked up. That I hadn't got a chance to play yet. I really need to try. But And then I got the box de games down here. So I actually got a lot in television game. Like you got Blockade Runner. Let's go through them all. Chess. It, you'd be an idiot if you don't know what chess is. Mr. Basic. Meds, bites, and bits and bites. Sewer so Sam. Tropical Trouble. And then they start to get these third party looking cartridges. I wonder if anyone knows, but that kind of looks like Bruiser Brody, if you ask me. <laughs> I just noticed that. And then let's pull some more of these games right here. 
these system these games are like really tiny uh, cartridges oh uh, and then you have a few of these Tron games like this is Tron Deadly Disc Frogger God, I love Frogger and Buzz Bomber and then he-Man. Oh, man. I love He-Man. I mean, the series, but... And then there's an Artron game. Solar Sailor. A Royal Dealer. Pitfall. Like I said, that's also on the ColecoVision and Tari and a bunch of other system. Um, here's a funny thing. Look at this. It's Donkey Kong Jr., Made by Nintendo for the television, and it, I believe it should also say licensed by Coleco. But and you see where it's made for television one and two. I mean, <laughs> but a lot of these uh, companies did a bunch of different licenses. And you got motocross. You got a lot of these to go through. Ice track. Armor battle. Here's a rare one. Pac-Man. And I really thought, before I picked this up, during this time frame, I thought Pac-Man was just Atari uh, license. So I was kind of shocked to see that. Then you got the electric company, math fun, burger time, but, and you know it's crazy. There's actually a rare gang of the sequel. I believe it's called Diner. I'm still love to get that. Bomb Squad. Um, that when I get done with these loose games, uh, I need to talk about that. Reversey. Cubert, oh, I love Cubert. And you got soccer, Vetron. Was that Shark Shark? I can't really see that. It looks like baseball. Then centipede. Gotta love centipede. Before we move on to the box games I got down there, I just remembered. About the other add-on for your television, it's it's hard for me to pronounce, but it's the Intellivision Voice Sense and not Sense of Modules. I can't really pronounce that second word, but you put that thing add-on into the uh into the television, and then you pl plug the cartridge on the side. And it would make some of these games, like Bomb Squad, have voices. That's why it's called IntelliVoice. I mean, it's, I thought when I saw it for six bucks at Second and Charles, I mean, hell, the box is in pretty damn good shape up right there. I mean, uh, for six bucks, that's a hell of a steal to me. I mean, to other people, it probably... Wouldn't give a crap, but to me, I thought that was pretty awesome. So, let's look at these box games. What's well, crazy, during this time, when I picked up ColecoVision, I heard of the ColecoVision, but I never really heard of the Intellivision. But, like I said, in the ColecoVision, it's so hard to come across these games. And when I do, I try to at least pick them up. But these in television, especially these loose games, they're pretty common to pick up. And like, and they're pretty common actually to pick up in their boxes as well. At one point, there was a store. I think I was picking up like two, three dollars a piece. I was like, yeah, why not? I mean, I'm I love my boxes, so I figured why not get them in their boxes. So, uh, let's start going through these. I mean, some of these are, are on other, uh, s systems, like I said before. 
is Saxon is a um an arcade, obviously you can tell, and it's made by Sega. And then you have if I can pull this one out, little tight skis. The box is not in great shape, but it's uh, Venture. It's an arcade game. love how it says Sears because I used to work at Sears, so that kind of means a little bit more to me. And here's a really weird thing. Remember how I was talking about in the Coleco? Uh, this ha is even weirder. This is a it's Donkey Kong. By Nintendo, who made the game. For the Intellivision. Licensed by Coleco. Three competitors who made this game. No, it took to make this game. And they say this is... Plays like the real arcade game, but then you look at that. I mean, it actually looks better than Atari, even though the graphics is backwards. But uh, it's actually superior to the tar uh, to the Atari version, obviously. And then uh, let's go through some of these other ones I got. Uh, boxing, yeah, it's that's pretty good. One and a lot of these right here, like here over, is a little common. Uh, like it says, this one says it talks. I mean, that you could use that module that you know the game would talk. There's a soccer, then space hawk, and then Dungeons and Dragon, tennis, hockey, skiing. B-17 Bomber. Astro Mash. Microsurgeon. That's kind of interesting game. You play as a surgeon, but it's crazy looking game. Beauty and the Beast. Space Battle. Then you got basketball. And then you got more of these common games like Space Hunt. God, I can't even really see what that says. <laughs> that kind of looks weird. Lock and Chase, Night Stalker, then Atlantis. Then up here you got Space Battles, Backgammon, Triple Action, NFL Football. They did a lot of sports games for DN Television. Here's a box. Tron game. Tron Maze... Uh, Maze of Tron, horse racing, then Major League Baseball, and Frog Bog. And, uh, we're come down a little bit more. Snafu! This is a good game. I mean, the box is pretty decent. And it's pretty much the snake game. That, but, you pretty much play against the computer. I suggest it. The boxing on these next ones, it kind of, I thought these were Atari. Especially Sears Telegames. Usually they are for um, Atari. But this one is in television games. And this is what they look like inside if they open up like this. And it's funny, this guy wrote his name in here. <laughs> And then you got a Dodgers version super video game, oh, video arcade football, super video arcade, uh, space battle, and here's a weird one. It's Frogger. Oh, I mean, I love Frogger. I mean, if you don't know Frogger, I to get things back upside down, but. If you don't know Frogger, I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. It's a great game, but. See, back in the day, Tandy is another brand. It's a knockoff. They would do knockoff of Intellivision and also, I believe, the 
Atari 2600 and Sears a Super Video Arcade, so I bet that's another version of a television, and because this is a television game, but honestly, you gotta love Frogger, and I believe that's pretty much it. Uh, we're down to at least two more systems to go now. I mean, I got the Atari 7800 and the Odyssey 2. And if I decide to do the RCA Studio 2, I'm going to have to play the games to have a proper review. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, bye.